we've succeeded in imposing the strongest sanctions on the Iranian regime to date. Here in the United States, we worked with the Congress to write and the President signed the Comprehensive Iran Sanctions Accountability and Divestment Act, SASADA. Combined with past measures, we now have subjected Iran to the toughest U.S. sanctions ever. We have since used the various authorities provided in this act to get international firms out of Iran's oil fields and banks out of its financial sector. Internationally, we have succeeded in building a broad and deep international coalition to hold Iran accountable. President Obama personally and repeatedly has engaged with his foreign counterparts, including the leaders of Russia and China, and that just as late as a week ago Saturday in Honolulu uh, during the course of the APEC conference and lengthy bilateral meetings both with President Hu Jintao and President Medvedev. And this paved the way, this, these are kinds of efforts, paved the way for passage of the UN Security Council Resolution 1929, which helped create the most comprehensive international sanctions on Iran to date. We've worked with allies and partners to build on the UN sanctions, and those of you in the room I see have heard me describe this multi-layered effort that we've put uh, in place uh, with the UN Security Council as a base. The European Union has imposed strong measures against Iran's financial banking, insurance, transportation, and energy sections, as well as the Iranian Revolutionary Guard. South Korea and Japan, two of Iran's major trading partners, have taken action to limit commercial activity and financial links with Iran. Other nations, including Canada, the UAE, Australia, have imposed additional measures. And in a very significant step, following the adoption of Resolution 1929, Russia canceled the sale of the S-300 sophisticated and long-range air defense missile system to Iran. The effect of these sanctions has been clear. Coupled with mistakes and difficulties in Iran, they have slowed the nucle Iran's nuclear efforts. Sanctions and export control efforts have made it more difficult and costly for Iran to acquire key materials and equipment for its enrichment program, including items that Iran can't produce itself.